What's going on gamers? Today we're going over how to add resource packs to Minecraft. Adding a resource pack to your Minecraft server is an excellent way to bring excitement to the visual aspects of your community's gameplay. With thousands of texture packs to decide from, there are endless possibilities to create your perfect server. While installing a resource pack for your server can be a bit tricky, we're going to walk you through the process to make it easier for you today. Of course, the first thing you need to do is find a resource pack to use. Just make sure your pack comes from an official website like CurseForge. Confirm that the resource pack is made for the version of Minecraft your server is running, and download the pack to an easy to get to location on your computer. Next, you're going to head to the MC Packs website. Press choose file and select the resource pack that you just downloaded, and then use the upload button to process the pack. When that's done, make note of the download URL and the SHA-1 hash. Next, you're going to head to your Apex server panel and stop the server, and then head to config files on the left-hand side, followed by server settings. On this new page in the resource pack field, paste the download URL from the last page. Similarly, in the resource pack SHA1 field, add the SHA-1 hash. After this, you can scroll down and press save and then restart the server. While a bit more complicated, another option is to use Dropbox. You can do this by heading in and signing into the Dropbox website. And then to the right, you can click on upload files. Head to your chosen resource pack on your computer and open it, and then wait for the file to upload. Once it's finished, click done, and then find your texture pack in the Dropbox file list and press the share button. Make sure that your link settings for the file are set to anyone with the link can view. After that, just copy the link to your clipboard. Next, head into your Apex server panel and stop the server, and then go to config files and server settings. Find the resource pack field on the next page and then paste the public link you copied from Dropbox. Now the public link that you copied from Dropbox has to be changed from DL equals zero at the end to DL equals one. Head down to the bottom of the page and click save and then start the server again. Now, before we go over some common issues, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all of our future videos. If your frames per second is dropping after you install a resource pack, the resource pack might be too intense for some computers to handle. Using a less demanding pack for the server will allow players to use the pack with less worry for lag. If when a player clicks yes on a pop-up for a resource pack in the server and nothing happens, this is generally due to an issue with the link inputted into the server settings. First, make sure that the Dropbox was set to anyone with the link can see it, and that the link was changed from DL equals zero to DL equals one. Of course, this could also be from something like the texture pack not being made for the correct version of the server you're running. Resource packs can be beautiful, and with Minecraft and websites like CurseForge, there are thousands of options to choose from, giving you so many ways to make your server perfect. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.